Well, the view from Lone Pine Peak is probably the most incredible view I've ever seen. In back of me, there's Mount Whitney. Some of it's covered in clouds. And then Mount Irvine, Mallory, and a bunch of other big mountains in the background. And way down toward the other side behind me is the Owens Valley. And if you can see far enough, Death Valley. So uh, we're standing between the highest and the lowest point in the United States. It's, it's pretty breathtaking. Well, Wes and I have just left Whiskey Whitney Portal. Uh, we got up at 6 this morning and uh, got here. We are headed up to... We're headed up the Mason Lake Trail to Lone Pine Peak, which is about 12.9. And uh, Lone Pine Peak is in the background. <laughs> Lone Pine Peak is behind me. It's one of these mountains that the closer you get to it, the scarier it looks. But uh, we'll see how this goes. The plan is to camp near Mason Lake tonight. And then summit in the morning because we got a snowstorm coming in tomorrow afternoon. But if we feel good and it's clear, maybe we'll summit today. We'll see. How you feeling, Wes? Uh, good. <laughs> My calves are burning. <laughs> Your calves are burning already? <laughs> that was just the beginning. And then okay. It goes away. All right. Theoretically. <laughs> Well, we made the camp. I think we're five miles in. It was a pretty tough, a lot of elevation gain kind of hike getting here. We're at some lake behind us. We don't know what name it is, but it's pretty small. But uh, it's pretty beautiful here. We're surrounded by uh, the big mountains, Mallory, Irvine, and uh, Lone Pine Peak. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up at Odar 30 and power up the big mountain. Wes is uh, navigating, trying to figure out where we are and what's around us. Mason Lake is nearby and it's a really big, beautiful lake. And we're thinking about going there, but we're pretty burned with the altitude. I took a little trip up to a big rock pile just to walk around and explore and I was huffing and puffing. So I think we might just stay here and eat a big fat carb dinner and get a good night's sleep. Well, the sun's just going down over the mountains and as soon as it dipped, the temperature dropped about 10 or 20 degrees. It's gonna be a pretty cold night tonight. So uh, we're starting to bundle up and hunker down. But uh, behind me is the summit of Lone Pine Peak. That's where we're headed tomorrow. Well, Wes and I are slogging our way up Lone Pine Peak. It is a painful slog up really loose talus and scree. But the uh, cool thing, Mount Whitney is uh, just over that ridge over there. Pretty cool. Beautiful sunrise this morning. We're going to try to make our way around this big giant pillar in front of and uh, see if it looks any better. See what happens.
<laughs> Not quite. Summit! <laughs> I got a 3,000 foot cliff right here. I'm not gonna go too close to that. It's awesome, but you can see that tiny little lake down there. That's where we started this morning. And uh, it was quite a climb. Was it worth all the pain? Um, no. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was still wondering. I'm planning ahead. When I get to the car, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is being his uh, sarcastic self, but inside, he knows it's worth all the pain and misery this morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm riding the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Lows on the trail. Uh, <laughs> uh, high point? Yeah. I'll start with low point. Okay. <laughs> uh, low point was going down the scree field. Okay. On my butt. Surfing the scree. Yeah. You still got a big brown spot on your <laughs> Okay. Any more lows? <laughs> uh, altitude sickness. Altitude sickness. That's a low. Uh, this is just usual. Okay. All right, highs. Highs. Uh, we got to the top. I know that was pretty cool. <laughs> Views were cool. Yeah, I thought that was my high was that was the best view I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. Never seen Mount Whitney from that perspective. And that fox was pretty cool prancing oh, okay, around, yeah. <laughs> marking his territory. Whenever I've seen a fox, he's in some kind of urban setting running for his life, but that was pretty cool to yeah. <laughs> see him in his own habitat. <laughs> all right, well, we made it off that mountain, surfing down all the scree in one piece, and uh, our adventure is coming to an end. GoPro, stop recording.